Can we talk some Neil Young for a second here? Now, I know that uh, those of you who have been with The Morning Show with Anthony for a while know that I am I, I'm actually kind of a positive person. I like to look at things glass half full. I like to kind of go positive. I like to think on the... I'm, I don't, negative is very easy. It's very easy to be negative. I don't like being... I don't like easy. Uh, you know, I like, I like difficult. I like, you know, well, maybe this is good. Maybe this is good. Here's why I think this new Neil Young thing is going to completely stink. And uh, you follow me here and let me know what you think. So, you know, we know Neil Young is with Daryl Hannah. Uh, we got word a little while ago that Daryl Hannah made a movie with Neil Young. And I'm like, okay, that's, you know, he's very creative people. She's an actress, a director. And, of course, he's been on screen a billion times. And who knows what. It, and then, we've, we, then we heard that it was a Western all right, you know, Neil's kind of scruffy looking. Uh, he wears cowboy hats time to time. That makes sense. Now that we're getting all this information, it, I just have a feeling that this is going to be terrible. And let me explain why. So we know the movie is called Paradox. It's a Western described as a, quote, fantasy, a loud poem, and free-spirited tale of music and love. That's just, a, that's a lot of description. I also don't know where the loud poem is. I'm, I'm, this is fear. I want you to know this isn't really based in negativity. This is based in fear because I do love Neil. Uh, the film is going to debut at South by Southwest, which is a sign of that it could be amazing. Then next, Netflix buys it. So not only is it going to be South by Southwest in a couple of weeks, but we're going to get it on Netflix on the 23rd. So we're 15 days away from that. Um, it stars not only Neil Young, but Willie Nelson, his sons, Lucas and Mika, as well as members of Neil Young's backing band, Promise of the Real. It follows a band of outlaws named, quote, Man in the Black Hat, who Neil Young plays, Particle Kid, who Mika Nelson plays, and Jail Time, who Lucas... Nelson plays. Now, this already sounds to me like it's going to be very artsy. So I don't think this is really for, you know, everybody, um, you know, but uh, based on the character names, based on the loud poem description, based on the fact that Daryl and Neil are dating, because, again, sometimes it's hard to, like, tell your significant other, you know what, that's a really terrible idea or you shouldn't do this. Sometimes you get sucked into those things more than anything. Um, and here's the here's the deciding factor for me. We are f 15 days away from seeing this on Netflix. And we don't have a trailer. To me, that's the, that's the, you know, that's the alarm. That's the red flag of 15 days away and we don't have a trailer. Now, all this being said, I'm going to keep an open, uh, uh, open uh, heart. I'm going to go into that. I'm going to watch this on Netflix when it comes out, when it comes time again, like, you know, it's kind of cool that it's in South by Southwest. It's kind of cool that Netflix picks, picked it up, but that doesn't guarantee that it's going to be great. You know, and South by Southwest does things that are like, you know, out of the ordinary and weird. And Netflix, who cares if this one's a flop? It's Netflix. They'll, you know, if people don't like it, they'll move on to the next thing. You know, that's the beauty of Netflix. They can take extra chances on things. Uh, but I'm just a little worried. Oh, there was another thing, too. OK, so this is what Daryl Hannah said in a press statement about the film. Quote, paradox sprung up spontaneously and unexpectedly. Like a peculiar dandelion popping up between the cracks in the pavement. I wish I could live in Daryl Hannah's world for five minutes, don't you? Like, I feel like it's a, a more fun world. Maybe that's what we'll get to do with this film. I feel like, you know, Daryl Hannah, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Just based on that description, I feel like Daryl Hannah doesn't have to clean out the drain. I feel like Daryl Hannah doesn't have to put the garbage out. She doesn't have to worry about filling out tax forms. I just like I know like somebody's taking care of all that. And in, in, in a world where peculiar dandelions pop up between cracks and pavement, somebody's cleaning out like, you know, your drain. Like the, the mirror already it, it gets magically wiped on its own. You don't have the like Daryl Hannah doesn't look at her beautiful face in between old toothpaste uh, stains on the mirror. That doesn't happen in Daryl Hannah's world. 
Everything is magical in Daryl Hannah's world. In Daryl Hannah's world, there's always a Band-Aid. Like, there's never a time when you, oh, little paper cut. Is there a Band-Aid? There's always antiseptic spray and a Band-Aid mysteriously around in Daryl Hannah's world. Like, things just, you know, the automatic doors always work. There are no broken escalators in Daryl Hannah's world. That's the same world where peculiar dandelions pop up between cracks and pavement. Uh, she goes on to say, we were fortunate to find this brief window of opportunity to share the love for the natural world, each other, and for the precious seeds of creativity and life. We are all thrilled the film will premiere at South by Southwest and that Netflix will be sharing it with the world. See, in Daryl Hannah's world, things get automatically accepted into music, uh, film festivals. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. In Daryl Hannah's world, you never have to run the pickle jar underneath the hot water because it just opens with ease. It opens with ease. When Daryl Hannah tries on shoes at the store, she never has to take out those little rolled up balls of paper. They're just not there. Life is a little bit easier in Daryl Hannah's world. <laughs> she never has that problem. There's never that issue. When Daryl Hannah goes to take a Tylenol, like the bottle just opens and there's not one of those pesky silver things that you have to poke your, break your nail to. It just comes apart. It's very simple. Ikea doesn't exist in Daryl Hannah's world. Just too many instructions. It's not the way it works. It's just not the way it works. Um, here's the other thing that worried me about this, and that's the fact that they apparently, so a little while ago, Neil Young and Promise of the Real did a show, and they were all decked out in cowboy gear, and now we learn that that is going to be a part of the film, so that, that worries me. Like, I get, I get having Neil Young and Promise of the Real soundtrack your film, but if you're, are the, this is a Western, and then they're performing... In the, you know, that was my favorite part about the OK Corral was the live performances. That was the thing. <laughs> the, the best part about Shane was the closing concert. That for me, the best part about Shane was when they plugged in all the electrical gear and had a concert. That was uh, what was so wonderful. So I'm a little concerned. If you're, I'm a little concerned about this. We got a poster which I'll post um, to go along with this. But um, we don't have a trailer 15 days out. Now, I know a little bit about marketing, and uh, I've never seen a film marketed without a trailer. That would be a first. This would be a first. So, a eh, smidge concerned. Smidge on the concern side. Just a smidge... By the way, in Daryl Hannah's world, Control-Alt-Delete doesn't exist because she never has to reboot her computer. <laughs>